want to welcome everybody to today's video. This is the second episode of my webcomic Crash Course series. If this is your first time here, hi, I'm Eris. I mostly make illustrations, but I'm also known for coming out with at least one fully finished webcomic every year since 2020. I started making webcomics seven years ago. In these seven years, I've learned a lot. So I'll be sharing my knowledge with you during this five episode Crash Course series. I will say I am not a professional and I am speaking from my personal experience, so I don't recommend you take everything I say during this series as gospel, but rather as a general guide to get you started. I especially recommend this series for people who want to start making their first webcomic, but there will be tips and tricks mentioned throughout that could help out more advanced creators as well. In the previous episode, we talked about how you could potentially get started and set yourself up for success from the very beginning. In this episode, we move the process further a little bit, and we'll talk about scripting. After you have your stories outlined, naturally the next step would be scripting. Put everything on paper but in detail, exactly how you imagine every scene playing out. Personally, I like to figure out how many episodes I want to fit into a story first, and then figure out how much of the story each episode should contain. Here's an example from my comic, Rigor Mortis' episode list. Keep in mind, I ended up making a last minute change a month before I officially started working on the pages for this comic, adding a full episode to really highlight the main character's mental state and struggles. This is a good time to mention it's sometimes okay to make last minute changes to your script as long as it's something you really truly think will definitely benefit the story in the long run. Having a little summaries next to the episode count can make the writing process less stressful and easier to see overall. I personally like working with a 500 to a 700 word count per episode, because I find that it is easier to work with for me and I get enough words to get my story to progress properly. Of course, the number of words you're comfortable with working might be different from this and that's okay too. But keep in mind, if you are uploading to Webtoon, there's a certain amount of megabytes that the site lets you upload per episode, as well as Webtoon doesn't let you upload more than 100 files per episode, so it's a good thing to keep in mind. It is generally better to keep things shorter rather than longer for the most part. Scripting itself isn't always easy either. When I was scripting my first draft of Ace of Thieves, the comic I released this year, I had 25 episodes planned, so I started scripting 5 episodes every day. Or almost every day. There's always going to be episodes or scenes you look forward to writing and ones that you are not thrilled about. If you're having trouble writing scripts you like, it might be good to take a break and clear your mind a little. It sounds obvious, but I think it's still good to mention. One thing I just tried out for the first time was using ChatGPT to help me figure out dialogue for a scene. I know, I know, it's AI, so it's most certainly plagiarism to just take everything it gives you. I'm obviously not saying you should tell AI to write you a story and then copy and paste it. Sometimes it can be kinda hard to find inspiration for a certain scene you have trouble with writing. There's no such thing as a Pinterest for writers after all, not that I know of at least. So generating a few scenarios can get the cogs in your brain moving. For that reason, I think it could be used, as inspiration only. For example, I was struggling with a chase scene between the two main characters for Ace of Thieves, so I generated a few scenes to get some ideas for remarks that they could say to each other during the chase. It gave just a little bit more flavor to my scene that I think it was missing. Having characters stay true to their character setting while writing can be hard for some. I can recommend taking personality quizzes in your character's shoes. If not for the sake of understanding them better, it can still be done purely for fun too. While writing, it's nice to take note of what kinds of clothes your characters are wearing and the backgrounds they appear in. Backgrounds only really need to be taken note of if you're planning on using 3D backgrounds, however. These two things should be put on a list, so once we get to the character designing part, you don't accidentally miss designing an outfit. 
backgrounds should be listed so when we do the 3D backgrounds next episode, you'll see how you can neatly collect or make them and keep track of everything. You might have noticed I'm the type to take notes on everything I deem important enough. This is something I recommend all of you do too. Even if you are not forgetful, I am not either, but keeping things neatly organized is a virtue. Once you have your scripts for each episode and all the lists are filled out properly, now is the time to review your own work, episode by episode, one by one, and not just once, multiple times, with enough time for you to forget exactly what happened each episode, so that you can look at it with fresh eyes. If your scripts are easy to understand, you can also hand it over for a willing friend to read and see what they think. I think it really is important to look it over multiple times before we go any further. Some scenes you thought were fine, you might have better ideas for now, or you just might change a less significant scene. Still, it's important that you are satisfied with your work before we go any further. As for where you can store all these scripts, I've done it all. I used paper sketchbooks, I used world anvil ones, and now I just use Google Keep. In my opinion, it is perfect for the job I needed to do, but ultimately you should use whatever you're most comfortable with. These are just a few options. And you should also make certain that you will not lose anything. <laughs> anyway, that is it for this month's episode of Eris's webcomic Crash Course. I sincerely hope that you found it useful, or at least interesting. Next episode is something I know some of you are really excited about. We will delve into comic character design and how to get, make, and use 3D backgrounds. If you want to see art from me that doesn't make it into videos, you can follow my Instagram and Twitter at eris underscore vt. If you like to read webcomics, you can find me on webtoon by searching eris.png but all the links will be in the description. I'll see you guys again next time, but until then, bye bye!